hey guys one more episode on viper this time we will take up uh, setting up your uh, tab bars so i won't waste your time much let's get started so you, you have this screen right now where uh, we were only having one view controller home view controller where which we were using to load our uh, basic screen but then in real apps it might not be the case where you just have one screen so you need tabs so for that let's get uh, started with creating some of the views which we need in the future tutorials let's say you need to have a shopping cart so let's cre start creating something called as a shopping cart and a profile section profile section will be used when we actually have uh, uh, the login created so once we have the login integrated we will also have the profile screen but for the time being to show how a tab is going to look in a viper architecture let's create these and then maybe have some dummy stuff there and then show our tabs so first thing first let's create um, what is called as the cart section so let's create as it as cart and then add uh, the required view controllers let me just call that as cart view controller type uh, ui view controller create that and then let's create a storyboard maybe relate uh, all the stories related to the cart can come here you just call that as cart storyboard let's drag a view controller there it's going to be plain simple we are not doing much here and then associate that cut view controller and also add the storyboard id so that it, we can instantiate the uh, view controller from the storyboard and uh, let's also create a builder for this so uh, router and presenter we can park it for the time being maybe because we might not implement those right now so i'll just keep it as just a builder for the time being builder for this call it uh, cart builder what did we call the other cart module let's call this as cart module builder class of uh, cart module builder and create a function to build maybe pass the same factory here as well for uh, the navigation using navigation factory factory of uh, navigation factory which will return i'm just going to keep it as ui view controller we don't need to actually cast it to or return it as a ui navigation controller because anyway you can upcast it whenever you need so we can even return the base type which is ui view controller so i'm just keeping that even in this one we can make that same change i have already already have this uh, home view builder where we can make it as ui view controller so it will not have any kind of impact so okay it takes a while to compile meanwhile we'll go back to our builder let's use the storyboard these these things we can actually move it to a instantiator or something like uh, you, if you have it you don't need to always do this like you can just call the maybe the storyboard and then just instantiate or even the view controller to instantiate directly which we can take up like in the next one not a major thing let uh, the view be storyboard dot instantiate using the identifier you already know that the identifier we have set is cart view controller so that's it and make it as cart view controller and return this view maybe call the factory so that we can embed that uh, uh, the navigation view controller 
So that's done. We have the cart view cart module builder now. We have the view controller. It does nothing right now. Maybe in the view in the view controller, let's just add a label so that we can differentiate between the three tabs. So this is my cart view is coming soon maybe you can just say that center vertical and horizontal and then maybe add <coughs> increase the font maybe that's it so cart view is coming soon let's get with the did I make it static? Okay, let's just keep it as static. Okay, and uh, let's also create a profile page. This will be the last tab which we'll create. And that be profile view controller. remove un unwanted stuff also let's create one storyboard for the profile just call it profile maybe that's your profile and a view controller then associate the profile view controller and also maybe add this so that you can instantiate using a builder so profile module builder function to build it UI view controller then using navigation factory same stuff maybe we can just use reuse that same stuff builder just that we just need to rename this to profile view controller also pass this storyboard view returns the view the name of this is profile storyboard that's also done right now so we have now three modules which we can use to load it and also let's go to the profile add a label there and pretty much we want profile is coming soon maybe and center that's fine so we also have the profile one more thing we can do is move this because this is the home view controller maybe we could just move it inside closer to the implementation maybe rename it to home also in the builder change it to home that's it so we have three uh, three storyboards specific to three modules right now that's all done let's just start building our tab bar new group tab bar similar stuff first create instead of this ui tab bar view can tab bar controller so let's call it as uh, grocery tab bar controller and let's just create a 
storyboard call it as uh, tab bar and just drag a tab bar view control tab bar controller over here also get rid of these things which are generated because we will be using our own modules that's that's got ridden cotton and now we'll change this to our grocery tab bar controller also have the storyboard identifier maybe i think let's not have it because i can i don't need a view for this let's i'm just gonna delete this i'll just have uh, an init here let's do it dynamically better so init of uh, my thing tab bar which will accept some those tabs right now so let's just call those as before that let's implement the stuff required it requires these super dot init that's it let's just keep it here because i need to create some more things like a builder and a router let's create a builder now so let's call it tab bar module builder function build it and it will return again you can keep it as maybe you can call it as tab bar uh, tab bar controller as a return type static function so we have the builder here so builder will accept um, uh, builder should accept the modules which we are loading like what all modules are required to build the tab bar so let's do that let me just create a router so router is where we need to uh, pass the modules which we need so it's more the responsibility of the router to actually build your or create your tab bars and pass it back to or um, create it and give it to the view controller so that it can the tab bar controller so that it can show those tabs so let's do that hmm. let's call this as tab bar router class tab bar router and uh, function of building sorry we are having an init for this i will pass the uh, view controller so I have a reference to that this is the general approach for creating a router where you need to have a reference of your view which you are creating the module which you are creating that's how you do it and uh, router can have uh, also have something let's do one thing here where you will create a type alias and create something called as some modules so this is something like what all modules are required for for this router to maybe create the tabs so let me just create that so i need a home screen which will be of type ui view controller i need a, a cart screen which is again of ui type view controller and finally i need a profile screen again the same type so basically this defining what all modules are required to build your tab bar controller or even other dependencies if a router requires 
so this is my some modules and let's also have an extension here where uh, um, I will have uh, in the tab bar router so I'll just have a function called uh, tabs this is where it will build my tabs and it will return me a tab elements maybe just maybe I can just create it as type alias again it will be the same stuff but then this is something which is exposed to the view controller so maybe make I can keep it with closer to the view controller tabs I'll just call it as tabs call it grocery tabs and then it's it's going to be the of the same kind like whatever we defined here it's just that we are just having it separate here one for uh, the view controller and then one for the uh, uh, internal to the router but this will actually return me the grocery tabs so that's how the function is defined static function tabs so it's expecting this to be returned so we'll create that right now whatever we have right now is let's also have something a property called sub modules which we need to pass Or maybe um, yeah let's continue and see what we need to do so this should accept uh, using some modules so that's my sub modules so this whatever we are passing here might not be required let's check that once So I have the sub modules so using the sub modules I need to build the tabs which are again view controllers but associated with the, uh, the tab bar items so let me call it as home tab bar item it accepts as item title image and uh, it accepts the not the one I need tag yeah this one so title anyway we know home image I need to pass right now and let's just keep this as some ID maybe 11 okay so let's add those images I don't have it here let's keep that in a separate tab section I have the images with me over here I have created here let's include that within the section also let's make sure that it should scale because it's a PDF I'm adding I'm just making sure that uh, single scale is what I intend to do so I have the image right now let's use that UI image named I have named it as um, tab home that's my tab home tab let's create one more called uh, cart tab which will have a tab cart item Let's call it as 12 this tag is might be needed later and then finally the profile one profile image being profile and this being 13 so that's the tab items for me and I'm passing this sub modules 
so whatever i need to return is this but before that let's do associate the um home tab or item to my sub modules i have the cart tab or item first thing is home tab or item should be the home tab or item which i have defined here similarly each one needs to have its own cart cart finally some modules dot profile tab or item for this being profile tab or item so that's done now we can return it in the format we need like home will be some modules dot home then uh, cart some modules dot cart finally profile some modules dot profile so i guess expected okay so this function is fine for us we'll be using it when we are creating the tab module so that's when you need to actually use it so i have the builder now just remove that and let's use the storyboard to instantiate this tab bar we don't have a storyboard so we need to instantiate that view as tab bar controller is equal to grocery tab bar controller we don't have that yet let's go back to the controller instantiate things which is required so this needs a tab now so let's pass it as grocery tabs so that's the tabs i have right now so within the init i'll get the tabs like home profile so these are what i need to add to the view controller home tabs dot uh, card finally tabs dot profile three view controllers so this is giving me an error because i need to use this Yes, we are pretty close to the implementation right now where I need to just pass. So this should accept uh, groceries before that uh, it should have uh, uh, sub modules being passed from outside which is actually what whatever we defined. So using sub modules. So if there are different modules, we can again make it as a tuple, but here it's only the router thing which we are using. So we can just call it as tab bar router dot sub modules. So this is sub modules. We're using sub modules. Sub modules use that sub modules to build our tabs which we had defined in the router itself tab bar outer dot tabs using sub modules Let's just pass that and that returns me a tabs items which is what the input which is what is the input to this view controller it's happening okay and that's tab bar is now ready we can just return that
so as such we we are not yet there where we can use the router to navigate because right now tab works in a way that you don't need to actually do anything to do the navigation but let's say if your uh, tabs need to show bubble count or something that's when all your presenters and uh, um, interactors come into picture which we can actually do when we are actually doing the um, add to cart uh, thing when if you add it it just updates and shows you in the cart what how many items are being added as a bubble count that's something we can take up in the next one when we are actually building the tab cart so this is pretty much where we are heading where we'll use replace our existing builder and build this one and show you how the tab is going to work right now so let's just have a quick review of what we did so we already had this home as one module we built one more two more called cart and profile profile and the cart one two more modules which just has some dummy stuff to show right now cart will be coming soon and profile is coming soon and then we created a tab bar controller and the tab bar controller does nothing but to add uh, the tab bar items which we will pass through let's say whatever it, it will be built using the extension of the tab bar router it, it's more like a utility we are using this section because it's more the responsibility of the tab bar to build a uh, responsibility of the router to actually build your um, or build and give back something like a module so it can even navigate to some other section or it can give you some modules which you can actually embed within as a sub module or as a tab bar item or something so this is what this function does within the tab bar router we don't have any uh, navigation stuff being defined right now here because that's coming up soon in other things in other episodes where we need to actually navigate to different screens so this is where tab bar implementation comes in you have the tab bar building tab bar router or tabs gives you the tabs which are actually accepting plain view controllers but then adding the tab bar items uh, um, within the tab bar router when the tabs are built so that's that's what is happening you are just associating the tab bar here and returning it back as uh, tabs uh, grocery tabs and finally we are just passing it and then adding it to the view controllers of the tab bar home card profile that's being added i guess this is what pretty much what we need right now at this point this is okay to have to show the um view control i mean the tab bars so whatever we are going to replace here is this part we already have the home being shown so without much difficulty we can actually do this like uh, instead of this this is my builder right now the home builder dot build is building me uh, an initial view controller and uh, whatever I'm trying I'm gonna do right now is uh, to use the other builder now like uh, let um, tab bar view controller tab bar controller will be tab bar module builder dot build it's accepting these sub modules so let's build that sub modules right now let's call it as sub modules so one of the modules is this as home we don't need this anymore and next is cart which is cart module builder not build using the factory okay the same stuff navigation builder dot build and finally the profile section profile module builder dot build and that's what sub modules are 
and we also need to change this the, right now the root view controller will be the tap bar controller pretty much done with it returning UI view controller let's run and see what what is happening let's go to access <coughs> hope it works for shot itself takes a while so upcoming watch out for the cart section which is going to use the observables of realm which is interesting if you are not uh, aware of how it works it will be interesting for you and we will have that same kind of transformation from the entity to the model which will be passed to the view so those kind of transition transitions are going to happen in the coming episode and we will totally build the uh, the shopping cart section without payment obviously it's, it's, obviously uh, payment can be taken up later if this goes on well and if you guys find it more interesting so you can actually leave your comments in the comment section asking for whatever you are looking for maybe push notification if you want how it works and how we can handle those scenarios in this app or something let's wait for that so right now i guess the app is almost launching and code access obviously it is available in patron side you can go there and check is it going to be a blank screen no you have the tabs ready so that's pretty much what i wanted to do right now see you can so that see that profile coming up soon these and that okay let's add those title as well for the view dot title the card finally which is the last one view dot prof view dot title will be profile final time let's run and wind it wind up this episode it's pretty simple but then idea is to just show how it's going to work card profile that's it so this is working thanks for watching this episode leave your comments and uh, ask me whatever you have in your mind and uh, wait for the next episode until then bye